Okay, an odd one. Uh, just a quick short interlude from AMS2. We're looking at the radio hammery stuff again. Um, put your hate in the comments below for that one. Um, right, anyway. We've recently uh, got hold of a cheap indoor loop aerial. Um, because I haven't got the room to lay out 80 meters of cable across my garden. Um, so this thing's about, whoa, I don't know, about a foot across, circular, uh, with a little bit of a uh, amplifier that came with it, about 30 pounds off Ali Express. So I've just been delving into, I've changed my software that I use my um, RTL SDR over to HD SDR, uh, which is this. Um, so all my menus are all in this little bit here, rather than spread out everywhere with half a dozen dozen stuff that I don't need. I can, it, all, the, all, the, all the options are in here. Yeah, I can get hold of all the stuff that I need to get hold of. Uh, it just means it's all in one little place and it simplifies things. Just widen that up a bit. Um, so what are we doing today? We are delving into the wonderful and strange world of FT8. Just let me just check that. Um, this is so new. It's like, what's it called again? Um, yeah, FT8 stuff, I think. I think. I hope. Oh, somebody's firing stuff at me. Um, Is it FT8? It'll say somewhere. Yeah, FT8. There we go. Right, so basically what I'm doing is I've tuned in on the 20 meter handband. Um, this aerial allows me to do it. Um, before then, I had to lay loads of cables across the garden to get that signal through my little SDR box. Um, the SDR box, by the way, is about £20 on eBay or AliExpress. It's about the size of a cigarette packet. Two aerial connections on one end and a USB on the other, and it plugs straight into your computer. Um, so that's what that is. So anyway, the signal's coming in from the new loop aerial through the little amplifier box and into the SDR unit, then into the PC. Lots of wires everywhere. Um, so this here is where I can tune to whatever frequency want I want. So I'm on the 20 meter handband, um, and I've tuned to this here frequency, or there or thereabouts. Um, you can see here the signals coming through, and you can also see on the meter over there the signal coming through and the signal strength. So. That's what I've done there. Now, the sound coming from that signal is a digital signal. Um, now, I'm using another bit of free software, which is a virtual, because we like our VR, a virtual audio cable. And basically, one end is plugged into this program, and the other end is plugged into whatever else you want. Okay? So I can see the signal, the input levels here on the channels that are going through that from here so we don't need to look at any of that anymore so let's look where it's going it's going into this program and this is another bit of free software which is wsit-x and what it does it's a decoder program so the audio is coming through the virtual audio cable into here and it's being decoded and you're given this bit of information here that you can see with the green lines in it. Now what that is, um, that's your timestamp. That's when the signal came in. That's the signal strength, uh, frequency, and then the message. So it's a system designed to work on really low uh, signal strength and basic messaging. Um, if I can get one, uh, basically these, this first number is the person who's sending 
the information that's his name that's the per the net person's name who he's sending and then that's the message at the end yeah which will be signal strength received signal strength seen um, really basic stuff what else can we see on here we can have a quick listen to the tune as you can see it's just a digital tone and here importantly is the signal strength coming from sd sharp hd sharp hd sdr <laughs> whatever so when i set the volume and gain over here it moves this over here i want it in the green ideally i want it about 60 so i'm not blowing the thing out but so what do we do with this i hear you say well we've got to look on a map and look up all these this information of you know who sent it who's received it where they are because it gives a grid location most importantly i.e where i am so then we have another program um which is when i find it grid tracker what grid tracker does is it takes that information that they're sending the short packets of where i am who i am what band i'm on yada 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 and places it on the map for you of the globe i'm not at it on long so i'm just uh this is just 20 meter oh just skipping back just to confuse everybody even more um that's 20 meters there um i could tune into 80 40 160 all the way down to two meters they've all got dedicated channels but anyway enough of that see the dotted line here that means this guy is sending a message to that guy. Ooh, <laughs> that's it basically. It's uh, it's kind of a Pokemon game. How far can you get? And this is a global system. So we have it earlier. We've had signals popping over to the states and way over here into deepest darkest Russia and down here onto the coast of Africa. And um, this is just giving you a live view of what's going on at the moment. There's lots of options in here. Um, just turn on that so it tells when we get a new hit. Even down to where there's radio meetings going on. Um, hang on, that one's users of the system. Um, where's the that one? Polter. There we go. So there's clubs going on there so you can tune into them or try and get hold of them um, you can from here if i was transmitting i could transmit to any of these new hit there you go new hit over here um uh, it's on the russian border okay um so that's everybody who you can see on the dot at the moment where they are and if i was transmitting i could hit one of the apart from that top one which is actually where i am me but i was transmitting i could actually transmit from this page and just hit the button and then i'll open another screen up where i can type the information i.e what signal strength blah 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 and you work your way through which is what a lot of the radio hams do which is the testing the kit what power levels have got how far they can reach um stuff like um atmospherics that's going on at the moment which is also on here <sighs> which i've got to try and find now because i've mentioned it somebody else has popped on um believe me it's on the is that it no is that it no no i don't know it's on here somewhere anyway um which i'll show you the uh, current yeah, there's a messaging system, so you could actually text message them from my PC straight through to them, if you like. Um, so I could do you it hit. via the internet. Um, there is a thing somewhere. I don't know where it is. It's on here. Like I said, I've only had it on for about an hour. Uh, I'm just working out what it does. You hit. There's a lot popping in at the moment. Um, 
And uh, yeah, I thought I'd uh, just make a quick video and waffle ham radio stuff at you. So all of this is free software. Um, just just type in Google the names of these things like Grid Tracker, and the uh, WSIT. Uh, yeah, W. Oh no, it's WSJT dash X and um, HDSDR um, and BB Audio. And you can download them from for, for free. There's plenty of videos on YouTube how to make them all work, but it pretty much um, I selected audio input as that uh, audio output as that uh, VB audio and you hit and the new program audio input VB audio and it fired to life um, when I was actually on here when I've selected 20 meters it actually told me that's the frequency you'll find them so you I've hit. just tuned to it in uh, in HDSDR and as you can see it's all coming in Oh, receive frequencies. Okay, wonderful. I'm not transmitting. <laughs> um, yeah. Right. Uh, MS2 video up later. Adios.